Okay, so I've covered the regular season. Now it's time to cover the playoffs based on my regular season predictions. And I'll just go over the playoff bracket with you guys. Let me just get my spreadsheet adjusted because I did make a spreadsheet. So, we have... No. All right. So I'm going to have to do the first round of the East first because, oh, wait, here we go. All right. Sorry about that, boys. Technical difficulty. Should I have uh, figured this out before I started recording? Probably. However, you know what? This adds character to the channel. So we have in the Eastern Conference, the Rangers will play the Islanders Battle of New York. That's also kind of why I kind of wanted to predict enough rivalries to just predict a fun season. But Rangers Islanders for the one in wild card one, because I have the Rangers winning the conference and no wild card two and Carolina playing the Washington Capitals, which is another rivalry. If this happens, the Metro will be fun to watch in the playoffs. Next up, Tampa will play Pittsburgh in wild card two and Florida will play Toronto. Now who I have winning each round, I think the Rangers, I think, I think the Islanders, even with them being more offensive, can't score in Shesterkin. It's like battling the Rangers right now in a defensive battle is like battling the Oilers in an offensive battle. If you do that, you're probably not going to win because that's exactly what they want you to do. And the Islanders are a defensive team. However, they don't have Igor. They don't have a defenseman like Adam Fox. They do have Barzell. But yeah, I think the Rangers do win this one. Carolina versus Washington. Washington's on the downturn. Carolina got better. Washington kind of stayed the same. Carolina's made it farther than Washington. I have the Carolina Hurricanes making the playoff, winning the first round as well, as Carolina does, knock on wood, except for that one time against Boston that will not be spoken of. Next up, we have Tampa Bay and Pittsburgh. So, Tampa, I still think win. Tampa's a playoff team. I think the same thing will happen. Tampa will pace themselves pretty well, and they'll come in in the playoffs, and people will question why we even thought they were done. But Tampa Bay, they won the first round, which, I mean, Tampa Bay's crazy good. So, yeah, you got to go with Tampa. They won two cups in a row and won the East three times in a row. Florida and Toronto. Toronto, I think this is, unfortunately, sorry for... To Leafs fans, if any Leafs fan watches this, which given the percentage of hockey fans that are Leafs fans actually is kind of likely. But between Florida and Toronto, I do think Toronto's goaltending catches up to them here. They don't have the goaltending to make it for, past the first round. Do they have the rest of the roster? Absolutely. However, you do need goaltending in the playoffs. I know Colorado just won with Darcy Kemper. However, Colorado, however, Toronto doesn't have, they have the second best center in the league, but they don't have the number three defenseman in the league. The number one defenseman in the league, the number three and the number three center, and one of the deepest teams, and one of probably the best second line center in the league. It's, uh, so yeah, I mean, Toronto isn't able to overcompensate for goaltending the way Colorado was. So Florida I have moving on. Next up, St. Louis and Vancouver. I think St. Louis wins this one pretty easily. St. Louis, I think, is one of the quietly good teams in the league right now, as you can tell by me predicting them winning the division. So St. Louis, I have moving on. They just they have a really nice physical team, and you need to be physical to win in the playoffs. Whether some fans like it or not, I kind of do, although I know that is slightly unpopular. But it is a, fa it is a fact, in my opinion, and St. Louis has that in spades. Next up, Colorado and Minnesota. I think Colorado takes this one. I mean, Colorado, even with the quote-unquote Stanley Cup hangover, it's just, yeah, Minnesota, I think they're good. They're not going to be able to make a lot of... What I, what's the word I'm looking for? They're not going to be able to make trade deadline moves. The roster they have is the same. Colorado... Probably not as well. However, Colorado had a better team than Minnesota, so I still have Colorado moving past Minnesota. Then we have a rematch. Edmonton versus Los Angeles. The Gretzky trade feud. Edmonton, I think, beats Los Angeles again. I think Edmonton has gotten better. They fixed their Hopefully they fixed their goaltending issue. I say this as someone who cheers for the Oilers quite a bit. Now that Colorado has won the Stanley Cup, I'd actually have to wait and see 
who my favorite of the two would be. It used to be Colorado, but it might be the Oilers as my favorite team in the West. But I do think Edmonton does win again because of the fact that Mike Smith isn't their goalie. And that really does, I think, do a lot for Edmonton because they can score and then they have a goalie who can definitely... They have a starting goalie at the NHL level. Then we have Calgary versus Vegas. So with Calgary versus Vegas, I think Calgary wins. I think Vegas, even though they still have a good team, they just, they don't have, they're struggling with cap. They acquire players without thinking about chemistry or fit. They acquire the shiny toy, and I think it's starting to come back to bite them. So even though I think they make the playoffs again from their roster, I don't think their roster is enough to get past a Huberto, Uyghur, Kadri, Lindholm, Hannafin. I don't think they have that team. So Calgary I have moving on. Next up, and I I just realized all of my semifinals are rivalries. Did not plan that. Happy it happened. It might have been a subconscious thing. I like seeing bitter feuds in the playoffs. But next up, a rematch from the semifinals. Rangers versus Carolina. Now, I am 100% going to be biased when I say this. And I will acknowledge it. And if this matchup happens and the Rangers win again... I will acknowledge that I was wrong, and a lot of my bias is why I believed it. However, I'm going to support my team. I can't have my team do well in the playoffs, and me not predict it. That's just, that's a no-no. That's not happening in my life. I'm not betting against my team. I think Carolina wins, and here's why. Carolina's biggest weakness was scoring in the playoffs. Carolina has acquired multiple players, whether it's Brent Burns, Paul Stashney, um... Brent Burns, Paul Stashney. Why did I forget about Max Pacioretty? We got Pacioretty for free. Those three guys, what is their main thing? They're all upgrades and scoring. That They're going to be scoring depth, whether it's scoring depth like Paul Stashney, top heavy like Pacioretty, who will probably be a great second line scoring forward for us, and Brent Burns, who is just a flat out upgrade from Tony D'Angelo. And I say this as someone who didn't completely hate Tony D'Angelo, but Brent Burns is just better. So... Brent Burns, like, it's just, and I do think Carolina has the offensive power to be able to score more in the playoffs, and if the Canes score more in the playoffs while keeping that defensive effort, and it's not like they've lost Ajo or Slavin or Teravine or Jordan Stahl. They lost Nino, however, if Kasha can play that Nino role and play it well, you still have Foss, you still have Stahl, if Freddie's healthy, I think Carolina beats the Rangers, so I'm going with Carolina winning the semifinals. Next up, Battle of Florida. I think Florida will pace themselves better this year. I think they've learned the same lesson Tampa has. Tampa is going to be physically exhausted from playing hockey until June every year. I have Florida overcoming the Battle of Florida. So, next up, semifinals in the West. St. Louis versus Colorado. Colorado had a downturn on goaltending. They've won the Stanley Cup. It's very rare to see someone win the Stanley Cup twice in a row. I got to predict Colorado loses in the playoffs on that on its own. And I think they've achieved what they've wanted to achieve. Do they want to win back-to-back? Yes. However, I do think Darcy Kemper was good enough to be able to cut it for Colorado and that stacked roster they have. I don't know about Gorgiev. So... Yeah, I got to go with St. Louis beating Colorado. That's my bold prediction is St. Louis beats Colorado in the second round. I just realized my final eight are all the same. This isn't going to be accurate at all. But, oh well, here we are. Edmonton-Calgary, Battle of Alberta 2, Electric Boogaloo. I think Edmonton wins again. Edmonton has proven they can outscore Calgary. Calgary did add Uyghur, although Uyghur has proven himself to not be clutching the playoffs with Florida. And, you know, I mean, Kadri's going to help, but I mean, they still have Matthew Kachuk and Edmonton has gotten better this offseason. So I got to go with Edmonton again. So next up we have in the conference final. So even though every matchup was the same, Edmonton is the only final four team that still makes the playoffs. So at least we got some level of, oh, things are going to change the season with my predictions. So I have that going for me. And, fun fact, I predicted, I don't remember my entire bracket. I predicted the cup champion last time, and I predicted three out of four of the final four. It could have been perfect, except the Islanders had to do Islander things last season. So, K- 
Carolina versus Florida in the East. I think Carolina still wins. I think Carolina has a better team than Florida. I do think, I don't want to say lack of forward depth, but lack of elite forward depth will catch up with Florida in the Final Four. Florida's a good team. They absolutely could come out of the East as the Eastern Conference champions. However, I think it will be Carolina because I am a biased Kane fan. Next up, we have St. Louis versus Edmonton. And I have St. Louis winning. I think Edmonton has gotten better. However, are they as good as St. Louis was last year and by association this year? No. I don't think they are. So that's why I have St. Louis winning. It's close, but I mean, it's just the physicality of St. Louis took Colorado to six games, something no one else did other than Tampa. So, I mean, it's just you got to look at that. You got to look at how good St. Louis was, how they did put a scare into Colorado, one of the only two teams to do so. Edmonton got swept. They're gonna, they are, I think, quite a bit better than they were last year. Although I don't think they're better than St. Louis or Colorado's rosters were last year and for St. Louis by association this year. So we have in the Stanley Cup Final, Carolina versus St. Louis. Now, I am a biased Canes fan, but I think, like I said before, if Carolina can get their scoring together, if they can, if they can stay healthy, if Freddie doesn't get hurt, which, I mean, the odds of that happening two seasons in a row, I hope, is pretty unlikely. And if, with all the scoring they've added, which was their biggest struggle in the playoffs, I do think Carolina built a team that can win the Cup this year. So I have the Carolina Hurricanes winning the 2023 Stanley Cup. Now let's go over the other awards. And I think the Conn Smythe, I think, is going to go to Ajo. If that does happen, Ajo is a super clutch player. I could see it going to Slavin or Aunt Freddy, or um, Svechnikov, if Svechnikov can really put the pieces together. Next up, we have, for the awards other than the Conn Smythe, I have, for the heart, I think for my prediction of Minnesota making the playoffs, to be accurate, I think Kaprizov has to win the heart, and I think Kaprizov is good enough to potentially win the heart for a season. Because remember, the heart goes to not the best player, but the most valuable player for getting their team into the playoffs, and I think for Minnesota to make the playoffs, that's got to be Kaprizov. Next up, we have, for the Norris, I think Jacob Slavin wins the Norris Trophy. This is a hope pick. I think he's due for one, and I think this is the year he gets it. Vezina goes to Igor because, obviously, Ted Lindsay, I think McDavid is still going to be the best player in the league next year. And I think, you know, I think losing it to Matthews is going to motivate him to win it this year. So I have McDavid winning the Ted Lindsay. The Calder, I'm going to give to Slavkovsky. I mean, it's really hard to predict with rookies. However, going with the first overall pick never hurts. Jack Adams, this is again another hope one for me. Rod Brindamore. Um, and then with the Selkie, I, I couldn't think of anyone. So I went with Bergeron just because I didn't want to give it to another Kane and Jordan Stahl. But I think Bergeron winning the Selkie. Is a decent pick, even though he's going to be injured. Probably my worst prediction so far. Lady Bing, with Crosby's career coming to a close, I think he's probably going to win one of those soon, so why not this year? And I do think he'd deserve it if he got it. And the Art Ross, I kind of went for winning the most goals. You know, new city, new team. I'm curious how he does, and I wanted to acknowledge it in my prediction, so I have Johnny Goudreau winning the Art Ross. So that's it for the playoffs. So hope you guys, if you guys are curious around the context of the playoff bracket and how I think the season goes, be sure to check out the regular season. Uh, if you guys like the content I'm producing on the channel, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the home opener of the Carolina Hurricanes. Let's fucking go. Hockey is back.